Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to help us spread TIPA's positive approach message around the world. Well, hey guys. I'm Beth Nolan, and I'm here with Shelly and Catherine, and today we're going to be talking about, oh gosh, you know, post-COVID, there's been so many discoveries that aren't fun. There's been so many folks who've reached out to us to say, wow, I had no idea how bad fill in the blank had gotten. So a lot of folks are now as they're starting to reconnect, see the situation, see where dad is. They're starting to come up with those situations. They're like, man, he's not safe in fill in the blank, his house, cooking, driving. How do I get dad? How do I begin the conversation to help my loved one make some life changes, to make some real big transitions where they're safe? Now, I will say this this is the ones where you're taking a look at it, you've checked in with other friends. You've already taken a look and done that self-assessment. Am I just being the worried adult child or am I really, I'm checking with some other friends. I'm checked in already and everybody's like, whoa, uh, yeah, is the response you've gotten. Okay, so how do you then begin with an adult to have the conversation <sighs> that they make these decisions? So tell me what you're thinking. Catherine's like, yeah. Okay, because here's how I've literally seen it approached. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, I, you be my mom. Okay. <laughs> mom, I'm really sorry, but we've decided you can't live here anymore. You're not safe. You keep Who's we? Leaving. The family has decided that you are not safe and we're gonna have to put you somewhere that you're safe. You're gonna have to put me somewhere? Are you kidding? So no, we're gonna move you and we found a beautiful place. You're gonna love it. You don't have to do anything. You, you don't, don't get to clean. make these decisions you for me. Have to you've been going behind my back. Mom. mom, you know you've been making mistakes. You've been leaving the stove on. You had that I, little fender bender left. I, I just wanna take care of you, mom. We love you. No, you the get the hell you. out of my- Okay, <laughs> thank you, Shelly. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go so well, did it? No, it did not go too well at all. Yeah, it kind of escalated from there. You know, I, I not only timing the interaction, see, oh my gosh, where is this going to go? This idea, like, when you really look at Catherine's reasoning and her approach with me, was there anything really wrong with it? Did she not care about my feelings? Did she not respect what I had done in the past? It, was it an issue of she didn't, if it started with I'm sorry. I'm yeah. Yeah. yeah right. You really hate it. Then I it. added that. But. But. <laughs> but. And this but is real. Okay. This yeah. is the but where we recognize, boy, I hate this. However, there's something that trumps my desire for your independence, my desire for things to be like they were because they're not things have changed yeah I, I think i also said mom you're not safe anymore i want you to be safe <sighs> right you used all the right words but it's not like i can't stand it anymore you scare me it's right. really you're not safe i want you to be safe this place is beautiful you won't have to do anything and we then get to time out yeah. but i think i was doing what i think a lot of people yeah Again. They're coming from their place of love and right. concern and hmm. yeah. Yeah. So Shelly, you were thinking in terms of, or just like with the yes, agreeing. Well, I was just, I was, I was just saying, but I mean, it's, it's us coming in with our own agenda right away. We're shoving this in mom's face. So do this guys, everybody out there, you've got it. So Catherine beautifully aligned the, what our agenda looks like. And Shelly's right. defining, this is our agenda, our desire and notice what it is you see yeah exactly i was just thinking all i see oh. is my hand oh gosh yeah. oh wait is I there somebody see. behind there you i know don't see me. shelly out of so guys do this right now take that agenda do this you've got to crumple it up it's still there it's in there guys go ahead and stick it in your pocket you may actually if you've already gotten here a couple of times you may actually have to take this agenda go ahead and do this 
<laughs> and dig it well away. <laughs> I really have got to figure out time out. Yeah. When I walk up to mom now, where's our relationship? Is this a person? Let's take a moment actually and remove mom from the picture. What mm -hmm. if it was a friend? What if it was a friend that is not your responsibility, who is a, an adult living not with dementia, and you're able to say, wow, my gosh, Catherine, you have dealt with so many medical issues lately. How the heck are you getting up and down those stairs, in and out of the bath? My God. Well, I'm stubborn. You are, you are stubborn. Have you... I mean, I noticed that when we were getting out of the car, I mean, that was a real struggle. I tell you what, no, I'm going to back just, off I want to line, but I really got, I've just, my heart was just aching for you thinking like, how do you do a shower every day? Cause you look gorgeous. So it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> I always do. You always do. So this idea of how am I being, do this guys, an equal an equal partner we're just two adults having a conversation where she knows i'm her friend i respect her mm -hmm. it is do this not my decision alone right how catherine as an adult lives her life and actually unfortunately well or fortunately it just is as an adult without some sort of diagnosis or thing that we're aware of she actually, in this country, has the right to make really stupid decisions. Think about that. We're dangerous. <laughs> We're dangerous. even dangerous yeah. decisions. How just can... Yeah, go ahead. None of this. No. As without that diagnosis, without that awareness that something is changing brain-wise, mm -hmm. adults truly in this country are allowed to make decisions that are not good for themselves. I think about and truly... Others. Yeah, or for others. So mm -hmm. think about that. Like last night, I'm trying to lose weight, trying to get my blood pressure try down, trying to get, and I had potato chips. I had a couple of handfuls of potato chips after dinner. Not a smart decision. Now, it's not to the point where someone's thinking, wow, is she endangering herself? But thinking about a tiny little decision, bad decisions that we're allowed to make as an adult every day. Yeah. How do we take that awareness? How do we take that? It is not my responsibility to make decisions for Catherine. And whether or not she's safe in her own home, we're friends, we're colleagues. It's not my right to say, mm -hmm. now, Catherine, I know you've had a lot of mobility changes and I care about you, but honestly, I really, I've looked at a couple of places for you and I found a great place. It's near your home and your family. You know what? You are really hurting my feelings. I well, thought well, we were beyond this. We had, we've had our differences and we have stuck together and I really don't appreciate no, Catherine, you, I'm just trying to... Have you been calling the kids and telling them that you think there's something wrong with me? Well, we had some conversations. It was just... Yeah, because they came the other day and I was wondering who was the one that told them. Oh, and... mm -hmm. Truly. So now this is not a mother and daughter. These are two colleagues, two mm -hmm. friends. How odd would that be? So now go back to mom. Mm -hmm. Go back to dad. Go back to your husband or your wife. How is that conversation suddenly in a different role where I, as the adult daughter, am now allowed to just gently, though, and with caring, impose my will on mom? How connected do I really have to be with another adult mm -hmm. to help transition their thinking where we are together going, this sucks i hate this mm -hmm. yeah this is where you know beth your sort of illustration and though it was entertaining it's really true is even so here's what happens i think sometimes if we take that agenda that we have and we kind mm -hmm. of hide it in our back pocket it's real close by so when we're like oh i'm connected here it is you, when you put it in another room mm. or you know what i mean you're gonna have to sneak your way <laughs> with one or, little positive like one moment at a time in that connection right. to finally get to the where it is like one step at a time so how many personal connections do you need before yeah. you're standing side by side with an agenda that you're presenting or sharing yeah in a, in a connected way and if we think about this in terms of like intimate care 
So we compare this intimate conversation, this really hard choice Mm -hmm. to a moment of how do you help someone in the shower who's aware? How do you get such a level of trust that you can be you can be literally naked in front of somebody Mm -hmm. that's a trust level that we're talking about you know we start to compare it in terms of actual showering and intimate care we respect the fact that i have to truly you know we've got to be connected i have to give you that space i you have to know that i'm there and i'm there to help and i'm not there to do something nefarious so we've talked a lot about those positive personal connectors I share, you share. I notice something in our collective environment. I greet you as a human being. Real basic stuff, but when you really start to break it down, there's some little changes, aren't there? I want to show you guys a video. It's a wonderful, hilarious video, right? We've got this incredibly skilled individual, Matthew, who's got an agenda, a simple agenda, much simpler to take a look at this then helping someone come to the decision where they are going to move out of their house they're going to give up their car this is just i want to get somebody to take a drink so matthew comes in and he's got his greeting he's got his connectors but you know tipa's not quite buying it she's not quite at this place where she's like okay you know i'll I'll do what it is you want she's still really engaged in her own situation But I want you guys to listen to his connectors, listen to the way that he notices something, points to something. Hey, Tipa, the tone he uses, and then you'll notice when it's not working. Mm -hmm. In those moments, see if you can pick out where his tone is a little bit, well, he's not really treating Tipa as the adult she is. He's not speaking to her in the tone that he would as Tipa Snow, his mother's friend, his mother's colleague and a person he respects mm-hmm. before that's the reality met. just so everybody knows like that is literally, the reality. that is the reality he yes. is approaching tipa who is his mother's in real life friend colleague oh, and he's and now known her for his whole life yeah and now in this scenario things have changed she's got dementia so let's take a look at this video yeah. And I want you guys to listen to the tone and the moments of humor where they finally do get connected and listen to how his tone changes in how he interacts with her. Hey, Tifa. Hey. Hey, baby. Hey. Yeah. You hear? Tifa, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm going to place her right there. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pause us right there Mm because there was two different tones there if you guys picked up. So notice this first tone where he got her attention. There wasn't something that went wrong per se, but notice his tone that he uses with her. And then when he has the idea of the table and just casually introduce it, oh, like a normal human being, you might this might you might find this handy. Yeah. Notice the tone change in those just that tiny little moment. Hey, Tifa. Hey. 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 It's kind of careful, isn't it? Yeah. Like, what am I, what am I getting into? Oh, Oh, yeah. Right. There's a cautiousness. There's a little bit of fear. And then listen to his hey, Tifa, when he has an idea of something that he thinks might help and he thinks she's going to love it. Listen to the tone for the hey, Tifa on this one. Yeah. Yeah. You hear? Tifa here. Yeah. Tifa here. It to- totally different words even. What did you guys notice automatically about the tone of those two? Where was the pitch? Where was the intonation like? I don't know. I mean, it was it was a little like like it was ca- like you said, it was cautious. It was a little higher the first in the middle. Yeah. So we know that when our amygdala is at that alert, I'm not totally freaking out he wasn't he really was quite calm in this i'm gonna walk up and see if she wants a drink of water this is not life or death but i do want her to take a drink of water he's got an agenda he walks in not quite sure how she's gonna go and his amygdala is just a little up and you can hear it shelly you said it beautifully just a little higher in his voice Mm -hmm. in his hey hey tifa hey 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 Hey. Hey. Yeah, it's, and then what do you notice about the tone then, the pitch? 
Then when he realized, oh, I might have something that can help. Yeah. He brings it down here. here. Yeah. Tifa, Tifa here. here. It's just real practical to a colleague. Oh, hey, here. And you know what? Talking about getting connected, this to me shows like, hey, oh, I can help you out. Let's do this. Like, I'm just bringing something to help you out for you that you might like. And it's like, he's connecting with what she's actually doing. Like, oh, let me give you somewhere. Beautiful. So he's really taken that time to figure out and he's allowed his brain to get purpose and meaning, it sounds like. He said, oh, wait, you know what? I think I have something that might help. But if she really doesn't want this in front of her and she rejects it, it's not, it's not about his agenda. Mm -hmm. Definitely trying to facilitate it. So this idea that I'm actually going to really set aside my agenda so it doesn't even creep into my voice in the connectors I'm doing. Boy, that makes a big difference, doesn't it? Just in the amygdala that we notice in just that little switch of how he treats her and talks to her like an adult. Shelly, did you see something on uh, Facebook that caught your yeah, eye? Yeah, it's just uh, Sarah saying that it's, you know, softer a little bit and in intensive interaction with what she was seeing there at first. Yeah, it really oh. does. It's that you can almost hear it in the tone the same way. Yeah, it's just a response. It's two human beings interacting with each other mm -hmm. as opposed to that, hey, hey, listen, it, there's just a tone to it. So then now let's go deeper, okay? So in when you're talking about someone that you've got to figure out how you're actually going to get connected with, how do you even begin to bring up these topics? So you've sat down, you've had your cup of coffee, you've checked your agenda at the door, and you've actually even decided, if we do not get to this today, do this, guys. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. My only goal is to do observation and actually truly get connected. Mm -hmm. If I cannot get connected, I am leaving that agenda at the door. Because mm -hmm. if today's not the day, yeah. What's one more day? I mean, I mean, it could be, but you just go like, you know what? We have been watching this unfold. We have let this go for so long, or we just got reacquainted and we're going like, <gasps> you know, yeah. whatever, COVID, yeah. post-COVID. Um, what's yeah. one more day? What's more important? The relationship or the agenda and and like we always say which is going to take more time yeah getting connected before you get to your agenda that's not a comfortable one most of the time or fighting with each other because really? if you push yeah. your agenda you are going to uh, like we did in the beginning that get mm -hmm. some pushback and it's going to take a lot longer a lot longer yeah. this idea of how i'm actually going to be focused on us as a relationship I'm going to start to explore I'm going to start to ask some questions the same way I would if I remove the fact that you are my responsibility. But in fact, I'm actually in this moment truly just talking with a friend because I care. Right. Because right. I can get to that place of being actually saying, gosh, I'm just, you know, I'm. It scares me, mom, because I love you. Right. That's a huge difference. Yeah, Shelly. Well, I was just going to say once you and that's that's once you've gotten that that's when you can do the options and say do you want to talk about this or that or whatever it happens to be truly yeah think about and that. also yeah go ahead Sorry, i was going to say and also knowing the person that you love whether a friend or a colleague or a, a family member mm -hmm. is knowing who they are and what they respond to yeah. for instance I've had to have some really challenging conversations with my own mother who is in a great deal of physical risk. Like mm. she falls constantly and we've been trying, like, you know, the tendency is to go, mom, where's your walker? You can't do this. Get At least use your cane. Ah. And people are like, my, my, my um, nephew is like, uh, Mimi, look what I found, her cane. Yeah. And there's a lot of this, a lot of mom. And finally, what has helped is I sat down and had a conversation with her getting connected and saying, gosh, you have been so active your whole life. Yeah. It, I took some time. And then I said, mom, I have a favor to ask you. Will Who you do this for us? For? Yeah. For us. Will so you do this for us? Because we are so afraid something's going to happen to you and we aren't going to be able to take care of you. And this was during COVID too. And I was like, if you get hurt in a certain way that could have been prevented and end up in skilled nursing, we won't be able to see you. And we're terrified. 
you can please mom, mom for us yes so it's figuring out what is the way you're actually it sounds like what is the way this adult still stays in the role that they see themselves and that they are which is your mother or your yes. husband can I you help you. us please yeah right they're scared yeah, I was just gonna say Sarah asked us the question well what if they say they don't want to talk you and don't exactly okay this idea of recognizing I've gotten to a place I have pushed it I've missed some signals and I've gotten to the place where someone has to come out and tell me I don't want to talk about this you yeah, you're not ready this idea this is Oof, this is hard thinking I, about I, how it is we get to that place with someone they're telling us a message you screwed up and here's the th hard thing it's not that any of us screwed up we are truly coming in with a very good agenda mm -hmm. at some point i picked it up and they weren't stupid weren't they mm -mm. they were smart they knew exactly where i was going in fact tell you what child i do not want to talk about this this is this place where do this guys where we go okay wow i didn't make a mistake i still have a really good agenda and i tried yeah how can I take that moment and show respect for this human being and go, okay, I'm sorry. It's that place where if I see my agenda up front, mm -hmm. if this is not coming in a situation of they're bringing up ideas, they're involved as an equal part of this conversation about what are the possibilities? What are the fears that you have? What are your options? What are you thinking? I'm actually exploring with another human being. Maybe it is time to say, wow, I'm not sure that I'm the one to have this conversation. Right. Maybe and I, I was just going to say that, I can actually bring in somebody else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used I used this kind of thing just last week with somebody where the family was concerned. And so they wanted me to come in and just kind of try to have the conversation. And I'm like, I'm not going to just start with that. You know, we did a lot of connecting. We did a lot of sharing about our lives and stuff. And I just said, what are you thinking about? when when you get a little older or when things aren't going so well or when you're not feeling safe have you thought about that and it was more of a have you thought about that i don't know where you are yourself? or or you know she says well i'm gonna know when i don't need and i'm like okay so what are the signs and i and she wasn't ready to talk and i said okay let's we'll just table that and we'll talk about it another time but Love i want it. you to just i just wanted to offer some ideas just really explore yeah and if we hit a wall we hit a wall we back <laughs> off and show respect that idea of then going back to some of those positive action starters, maybe grabbing a colleague, a friend to practice with, the idea of yeah. it's two human beings, two adults, mm -hmm. this I share, you start. You know, I, I'm i really, for me, I look at a certain age, and in my family, a lot of my grandmothers, my great aunts got to a certain age where it was like the cutoff. So mm -hmm. for me, I look at 72 as a big cutoff age for me in terms of finding more supportive living for you do you have an age or something else mm -hmm. i'm not saying anything about moving per se about you should or it really is this idea of these are my thoughts around independent living and the mm -hmm. variations going back to the basics i share you share without an agenda yeah. without showing it it's just two people having a conversation it makes a very different conversation so guys in facebook i want to pause us here because I'm hoping this might be something you guys could use as a launch point, this idea of what are the ways in which you might be able to practice these tones, to be able to, you know, have the fake conversation with your, you know, your adult, your 30 year old child, your spouse or partner, so a friend where you say, okay, I'm gonna have the fake conversation with my mom and I'm gonna record it so I can hear my own voice. Will I be able to hear my amygdala rise, my tone rise? where am i using those true connectors and where might i have the places where i'm gonna hit the wall because mm -hmm. we do have an agenda and even though i've stuck it over there i still got to get to it because i do know i've assessed and i've checked in and i think it's pretty accurate i don't think my mom's safe so you do know truly wow so any last thoughts guys any uh any words of wisdom or practice moments or ways in which you guys have gotten to a different place in those connectors uh right coming to mind is hopefully we've talked about this before hopefully you can assemble a team so that it's not just you and whoever you are care about that again like bring in her best friend 
let's say mom, bring in her best friend. Let's say she's living alone, bring in her neighbor. And maybe she she responds to authority figures, bring in her doctor, whatever, whatever she responds to. Like my mom responds to being a mother, but Ooh. some people are gonna respond to a professional. Yes. Sort of really looking at who's that team. And as long as that team doesn't even come side by side in like, we're here to get you. <laughs> the intervention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But somehow figuring out who is your team when you're getting ready to say, we've got to start having this conversation. Cause, Absolutely. Yeah. Because we care and things have got to change for safety for not just them, yeah. but for others. Yeah, Matthew said he can have this conversation with her, his wife. She has to have this talk with others in her job so that she could really do role play partner as a social worker. She's got tons of examples. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. So, and, I, and, and, and I would say just the last thing I would say to folks with, that watch us on a regular basis, what, they, what we all have figured out, I hope you are now figuring out, is that practice is what, what helps oh, us grow. Amen. Right? Amen. And get better at this so that it becomes second nature to us. It is not just a, oh, I don't know what to do. Truly. Yeah. So one of the most important things I have learned in all of my PAC world and my dementia care world that I've been living in, the skill I would say for me, the skill that has helped me the most is the reflection. Mm -hmm. uh, that reflecting is when you're trying to get connected or have a conversation, especially if it's uncomfortable, is that, oh, this is really hard to talk about. Reflecting visually, reflecting. Yeah, with and words. verbally what you're hearing. Yes. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. Or, well, yeah, you really like this house. You have built quite a collection of special things. The same way yeah, you you've reflect. got special memories. Truly. Whatever mm -hmm. is being present with where they are and reflecting that back is such a crucial piece. And that reflection piece, I don't care whether you're mm. trying to be a trainer yeah. or a support, that is hard stuff. It is, seems so easy and we do it. We practice so much, we make it look easy. And but we still That's sometimes the thing that's sometimes so hard. <laughs> Truly. That's the thing, that one of the first things you could try practicing before we go deep dive into like really challenging. True. Sorry, side note, that's just the practice thing that I it's need. A, Excellent, excellent one. So we hope you guys are practicing this art of ref reflecting, the skill of connecting with truly everybody in your life, how it is you're noticing the skills you have, where you find yourself doing it and connecting with a with a friend, and you don't see that same reflection maybe with your teenagers. <gasps> oh no, agendas. Truly, guys, giving yourself a break and truly thinking, wow, I, I'm doing this really well. So we hope you guys were able to take a few things away and are starting to look at connecting and then mm -hmm. moving forward on those tough life situations rather than moving in this idea of i have got to get mom out of the house which is how can i actually come upside alongside mom and move to a place where two adults are helping each other through a tough transition and wouldn't that be joyous yeah. cool. take care of yourselves guys